ukulele. Hi everybody! Welcome to the Rockbridge Regional Library Live uh, <laughs> Facebook Live Storytime Libraries Lexington. <laughs> Welcome to the Rockbridge Regional Libraries Storytime Live. So glad you're here. It is a special day today and this week because we are going to be talking about common threads. Stuffies. Or stuffies. Common, well, you need thread for stuffies. Um, so, do you know what a common thread means? It's a figure of speech. It means things that we might have in common. So this week we're going to be exploring and reading about and thinking about all the things we have in common. Which I have a feeling is probably a lot. So, I I think we better go ahead and get ready for our song. So shall we sing Hello Friends? Yes, are you ready to sing Hello Friends? Okay, all right. You ready? <laughs> okay, Hello Friends. Hello Friends. Hello Friends. Hello Friends. It's time to say hello. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Oh. It's time. Oh, there's somebody at our window. Oh, no. We'll come back to hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hold on, Rose. Let's get your mask on. Well, hello, friends. Welcome to our window. What are you two doing today? Yeah, fine. I need to play the violin for you. You've come to play the violin for us? Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Well, can we finish our Hello Friends song? And will of you guys course. Of course. And will you guys stay and read some books with us? Mm. Yay! Okay, so hello, do you guys know Hello Friends? No, no, no. Do you know Hello Friends? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do the last verse. One, two, three. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, Lillian and Vivian. It's time to say hello. Yay! All right. Well, guys, next thing we do is we get warmed up. Do you think you can help us with our song boxes today? All right. Here's one for you. And here's one for you. Now, if you step back a little bit. Let's throw them on the ground and see what happens. Okay. Ready, set, go. All right, we've got Twinkle Twinkle Little Star Wild Yay. Twirling. Okay, you guys ready? That's a perfect one. We're going to Twinkle Twinkle Little Star the Perfect one. You can the Twinkle Variations. Very excellent. So let's do Twinkle Twinkle Little Star Wild Twirling. One. Oh, thank you. One, two, three. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Excellent, guys. Yeah, All right. Stop spinning. Okay, stop spinning. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go straight to the story. Do another. Should we do another round? Hey, girls, do you want to throw it one more time? Let's see what we get this time. Up, oh, roll that twinkle. We got the exact same thing. Wow. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle again. <laughs> And ring around the rosies. Let's try the motion big, one. Big, big, big. And no, try that one again. Wait, Daddy. let's do head shake their knees and toes while twirling. Okay. Hopping, okay. hopping while we do ring around the rosies, guys. Head, no, head, knees. Shoulders, knees, and toes. Okay, head, shoulders, knees, and toes while hopping. One, two, three. Head, shoulders, knees. <laughs> Sorry, it's Rose. I'm moving back. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And I 
hands and ears and mouth and nose, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Excellent, you guys. Do you feel warmed up? I feel tired. I feel tired. Okay, you guys, are you ready for a story? Okay, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. You gonna clap your hands for me? If you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, clap your hands. If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, stomp your feet. If you're ready for a story, sit real still. <laughs> if you're ready for a story, sit real still. If you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, if you're ready for a story, sit real still. <laughs> Alright, I think that is a ready for a story. So I'm going to read over here today. So that Lil and Viv. Hey, where will I sit? On the floor in front of me. No, you can get on the couch. All right, I'm going to take my mask off since I'm going to be over here. So, this first book is called Whoever You Are, and you know why I like this book? Because it is about all the things we have in common with children all over the world. Do you think you have anything in common with kids who live in China? Yeah. Do you think you have anything in common with kids who live in Pakistan? Where's that? <laughs> do you, like, on the other side of the globe, do you think you have Hawaii. things in common? Hawaii. Hawaii? Yeah. We have cousins who live in Hawaii, but we don't know who they are. Oh, yeah. So this one is really a wonderful book. It's written by Mem Fox and illustrated by Leslie Staub. Staub. And it's, yes I do, and it's by Harcourt Brace and Company. Whoever you are. Little one, whoever you are, wherever you are, there are little ones just like you all over the world. Their skin may be different from yours, and their homes may be different from yours. And on every single page I see all those people. Oh, yeah. That's because that's, he's taking them around to show them around the world. Their schools may be different from yours. Look at that. They use something different. And their lands may be different from yours. Mountains, and, and there they are. See, they're just looking. Their lives may be different from yours. And their words may be different from yours. Look. Look. Yeah, there they are. Are they on, I don't think they're on this page. They should be. They should be, but I don't see them. <clears throat> but inside, their hearts are just like yours. Whoever they are, wherever they are, all over the world. Their smiles are like yours. They laugh just like you. I mean, that is, how who wouldn't laugh at a monkey on a head? <laughs> Their hurts are just like yours and they cry like you too. Whoever they are, wherever they are, all over the world. Everybody cries sometimes. Little one. When you're older and when you are grown, you may be different. And, and they may be different wherever you are, wherever they are in this big wide world. But remember this. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna match them. Hmm. Joys are the same and love is the same. Pain is the same and blood is the same. Smiles are the same and their hearts are just the same. Wherever they are, wherever you are, wherever we are. All over the world. So we all have hearts that feel and laugh and love. Isn't that exciting? Well, we just have to remember, we have differences, and that's good, but we also have things that are the same. Oh, thank you. All right, girls, so listen. One thing we're talking about is our common thread, and the two of you have a very special common thread. Do you know what it is? We both play violin. That's one? You both play violin. Is there anything else that you two share? We both have the same haircut. You have the same haircut true. And I guess. Got the same dress. That's right. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> but there's also something really cool about the two of you. You're twins. Yeah, but I'm even though it's cool. other things do going to be on us. My sister's a vegetarian and I'm an omnivore. Oh, so there's things that are the same and different about you? Yeah, and my sister could swim and I can't. Okay, so you're an omnivore and Viv is a vegetarian. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Viv. and I even know something. Being a vegetarian is healthier for, for the planet. It's healthier for the planet to be a vegetarian. That is very true. And so Viv can swim, but Lil cannot? Yeah. Oh, that's even just a matter of time. bigger than me. Oh, that is so cool. You might just be heavier. So you two are identical twins, oh, right? Oh, but one thing you can do, but I, but I can't. With See, he always gives me piggyback rides. What? By, this. while you're running down the hall. Can you show? Can you show us? Piggyback rides. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, goodness. It's pretty fun to have a twin. You got. You guys seem to like the same things. Mm-hmm. Is she it? She could even run while you're doing this. What kind of ice cream do you guys like? Do you like the same you know, ice cream? I I like every kind. You like Don't what? You? What do you like, Viv? I like chocolate peanut butter. Chocolate peanut butter. Book, and then after this. Okay. Spot, spots over here now. Okay. Now this next book is called Home. Do you think that our homes are something we all have in yeah, common? But I'm not um, you really sleep in a snail shell or a boot? Somebody might sleep in a snail shell if you're a snail. Um, excuse me. Yes? Yeah, it's like a kind of wide. And see that little covered wagon with that? Yeah? Yes. We read a book about that. It, and, it, and it was called Little House of the Prairie. Oh. And it a what? Uh, there's like a ride, and you get to sleep in one of those. Wow. But, there, but it's like a kind of carriage. A carriage. It is like a carriage. And you're reading Little House on the Prairie? That's so exciting. Mm -hmm. Yes, Rose? This looks like Ninjago, looks like Ninjago House. Oh, it looks like a Ninjago Monastery. Interesting. And this looks like um, the kingdom from Aladdin. It does look like the kingdom from Aladdin. So what's cool about this is all these homes are different, but they're all homes to somebody. So yeah, we have that in common. Another fun so fact. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, look at what I just found oh, out in the middle oh, of story time. Okay, so look at what I just I'm found. Just right now. Oh, are we live, guys? Let's see if I show back up. <laughs> oh, and guess what I just found? Well, just pause. Tell me if it catches up. Oh, a noodle. That's because I shook and shook shook a box of pasta once, and the noodles went flying. Am I back on? I mean, is it flying happening? Noodles. Okay. Well, we're just gonna keep going, guys. Okay, so listen, back to what we were doing. Fun fact about this book, 
The author, Carson Ellis, is the wife of a super awesome musician called Colin Malloy from the Decemberists. Just thought that's pretty cool. That's his wife. And this is brought to us from Candlewick Press. It's called Home by Carson Ellis. Can you check and make sure that's still? Home is a house in the country. Or home is an apartment. Some homes are boats. I'd live on a boat. Some homes are wigwams. Hey, Mom, wait, look. I think this is saying, like, showing when the um, England people came to the... Oh, um, mm -hmm. you're right. I think you're right. Some are palaces oh. or underground yeah. lairs. Look at that. That's where all the gold is. <laughs> and there's an Aladdin lamp. I wonder if Aladdin is down there. Or in shoes. Uh-oh. Wait a second. That kid doesn't have pants on. I just noticed that. <laughs> you ever hear the story of the little old lady who lived in a shoe? Well, there she is. French people live in French homes. Atlanteans make their homes underwater. Octopus, my favorite creature. And some folks live on the road. Look at that, that's a tour bus. And he's got his guitar and they're gonna head from town to town and play music. Clean homes, messy homes, that's us. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No. Tall homes, short homes, sea homes. What I would give to ride a seahorse. That'd be awesome. Bee homes and hollow tree homes. Ooh, I like it, yeah, Mr. Meow. I do too. But whose home is this? Oh. And what about this? That's a teacup. That must be like a fairy home or something. Who in the world lives here? Ooh, I want to live here. Alien. And why? I, I, I think that's, that's out in space. I see Saturn and the moon. This is the home of a Slovakian duchess. This is the home of a Kenyan blacksmith. This is the home of a Japanese businessman. This is and the home this of is Master the, Roo. This is the home of a Norse god. You mean Master Roo? That's not Master Roo. Mm -hmm. Thor. A babushka lives here, which is a grandma. A moonian lives here. Would you want to live on the moon? Look at that plant. That plant has eyeballs. A raccoon lives here. It's a pretty good view. A and an, lives there. an artist an lives artist. here. Close. Very close. She's drawing this picture. At the front, I wonder. Kind of this. Here. Maybe. This is my home, and this is me. Where is your home? Where are you? My, my home. home is the monastery at, in Lego Ninjago. You wish. <laughs> your home is here. Where's, no. And where's your home, girls? Is yeah, your... We are moving to the century of, of Jackson Avenue. Yay! Da -da -da. So, you're, so you're moving a home. That's cool. Okay, so that home is there. That I got. Home is both places. Woo -woo. No, not everybody has a home, and so uh, we must actually... be very thankful yeah. for when we do have a home, because not everybody does. Mm -hmm. Yes, Vivian? When I was walking, when me and mommy and my dad and sissy were walking through New York, we saw a a, a sleeping bag and a, and a man sleeping in, in no home. Yeah, he had he on the sidewalk. Yep, he's had to make his home on the sidewalk. So and and that's really too bad. 
but mm. and we hopefully you mm. bet that's why we have to be really thankful for everything we have so girls mm. rose did you have something to say because we're going to get on to violins everyone has a home it's earth oh good point everybody has a home on earth that's right good point okay girls so what about this violin oh, let's yeah. see your violins how long have you been oh i don't have my mask on how long have you been playing Ready? Okay, so then I'm gonna, I'm wait. Twinkle seed. Okay, Vivian, you're up. What are you going to play for us today? Me, oh, 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 it's kind of confusing, but I'm going to play a song my teacher just gave me. Okay. E e but it's called Dr. Suzuki. Excellent. Let's hear it. That sounds fun. And it's a twinkle. And that's a twinkle. Cool. That is so cool. Play anything together at the same time? Um, I got a song I've been working on, but it's new. Okay. Now it's, it's, Mom's going to tell me to do this, but I can't do it anyway. Now it's a day one birthday. I know how to play happy birthday. Yes, you dropped it. Thank you. All right, let's hear one more song. Okay. Yeah, Rolly poly. Poly. Hey, but if it's birthday, you know how to play happy birthday. You know how to play happy birthday? Let's hear it. Happy birthday. Okay, well that's great. Well listen, we're gonna read one more book. Come on and let's have a look at this last one. Now, I love this book because, well, it's, oh, sorry, I just sat on the spot. <laughs> this book is called Thank You, Omu, and it is by Ogimora, which is the most awesome name. And this is an award-winning book, and this is, I just, I really like this author, and she's telling a story that just warms my heart. And this is published by Little Brown and Company out of New York and Boston. This is called Thank You, Omu. On the corner of First Street and Long Street, on the very top floor, Omu was cooking a thick red stew in a big fat pot, a nice evening meal. She seasoned and stirred and took a small taste. What a delicious stew, Omu said. Tonight's dinner will surely be the best I have ever had. With that, Omu put down her spoon and went to read a book before supper. As the thick red stew simmered on the stove, its scrumptious scent wafted out the window and out the door and down the hall, toward the street and around the block until, knock, someone was at the door. When Omu opened it, she saw a little boy. Little boy, Omu exclaimed, what brings you to my house? I was playing with my race car down the hall when I smelled the most delicious smell, the, 
The little boy, when I most delicious smell, the little boy replied, what is it? Thick red stew. Mmm, stew, he sighed. That sure sounds yummy. Omu thought for a moment. She was saving her stew for dinner, but she had made quite a bit. It would not hurt to share. Would you like some? The little boy nodded. And so Omu spooned out some of the thick red stew from her big fat pot from her nice evening meal. Thank you, Omu, the little boy said and went on his way. With that, Omu closed the door and went back to her book. As she read her thick, as she, as she read, her thick red stew's scrumptious scent wafted out the window and out the door, down the hall, toward the street, and around the block until... Knock, knock. Someone was at the door. When Omu opened the door, this time she saw a police officer. Miss police officer, Omu explains, exclaimed, what brings you to my home? I was on duty down the street when I smelled the most delicious smell. Miss Police Officer replied, What is it? Thick red stew. Ah, stew, she said, and her mouth watered. That sounds mighty tasty. Omu thought for a moment. There was still enough to share. Would you like some? The police officer nodded. Once again, Omu spooned out some thick red stew from the big fat pot from her nice evening meal. Thank you, Omu, the officer said, and went on her way. And for the second time, Omu closed the door and went back to her book. Sure enough, as she read, her thick red stew scrumptious scent wafted out the window and out the door and down the hall toward the street and around the block until... Knock, knock, knock. Again, someone was at Omu's door. This time, when she opened it, she saw... Who's it going to be? A hot dog vendor. Mr. Hot Dog Vendor, Omu exclaimed. What brings you to my home? I was selling my hot dogs down the block when I smelled the most delicious smell. Mr. Hot Dog Vendor replied, what is it? Thick red stew. Ooh, stew. The vendor licked his lips. That sounds quite delectable. So Omu spooned out some thick red stew from the big fat pot for her nice evening meal. Thank you, Omu the hot dog vendor said, and went on his way. Throughout the day, people from all across the neighborhood knocked on Omu's door. She, <laughs> she fed a shop owner, a cab driver, a doctor, an actor, a lawyer, a dancer, a baker, an artist, a singer, and an athlete, a bus driver, a construction worker, even the mayor stopped by. And each time they knocked, Omu shared. Soon, the sky darkened. The streetlights brightened and was finally time for dinner. But when Omu opened her big fat pot with a thick red stew for her nice evening meal, it was empty. Omu sniffled. There goes the best dinner I ever had. Sorry and blue, she sat at the table with her empty pot until... Knock, 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 knock. Who was that? Could that be, Omu wondered. When she opened her door, she saw the little boy, the police officer, the hot dog vendor, the shop owner, the cab driver, the doctor, the actor, the lawyer, the dancer, the baker. Why, everyone she fed today was at her door. I'm sorry, everyone, Omu sighed. My thick red stew is all gone. I have nothing left to share. The little boy tugged at Omu's sleeve. Don't worry, Omu. We're not here to ask. We are here to give. The police officer carried in a fresh salad. The mayor s entered with a roast chicken. The baker brought a collection of sweet goodies. Even the little boy presented Omu with something special in a shiny red envelope. Everyone who had knocked on Omu's door that day squeezed inside her tiny apartment and together they ate danced and celebrated. While Omu's big fat pot of thick red stew was empty, her heart was full of happiness and love. That dinner was the best she'd ever had. And here's what's in the envelope. Thank you, Omu. Isn't that nice? Ugh. I get chills when I read that book. I don't know why. Um, 
I think it's Omu. But I could be wrong. So um, apparently, oh, in, I think it's Swahili. Omu means queen, but this author, that's what she called her grandma. And she would cook and she would feed everybody and they would come together and eat. So anyway, okay, girls, thank you for coming to story time. We, we have one more thing. Let me ask you a question. When you get ready to have a snack, what do you do first? Wash hands. Wash hands? Yeah. That's right. You guys know the hand washing song? Tops and bottoms? All right, let's all do tops and bottoms and then we can have a snack. Now don't forget, friends, there is a challenge out there for collecting trash in your neighborhood. That's gonna, and we're gonna have a new one on Thursday. And then we'll be back on Friday. I have a special guest on Friday and it's gonna be really fun. So be sure to tune in Friday at 1030 because it's gonna be, I, don't, I can't even tell you, but it's gonna be fun. <laughs> All right, let's do tops and bottoms, guys. One, two, three. Tops and bottoms, tops and bottoms. In between, in between. Wrap them all together, wrap them all together. Now they're clean, squeaky clean. Again! Tops and Wait, bottoms. I want to do where I started. Okay, you start it. Tops and bottoms. Tops and bottoms. In between, in between. Wrap them all together, wrap them all together. Wrap them all together. Now they're clean, squeaky clean. All right, guys, be sure to wash your hands. Be sure to wear your masks around each other. And it's time to get on that goodbye train. All aboard. Goodbye, oh, the goodbye train is leaving. See ya soon. Choo choo. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. See ya soon. The goodbye train is leaving. The goodbye train is leaving. Oh, the goodbye train is leaving. See you soon. Choo choo. See you next Friday. See you this Friday. Bye.